Good evening guys, MC Procrastinate here for another 2 Minute Video as part of 2 Minute Series. If you don't know what 2 Minute Series is, check the link below. This topic is about the fastest motorcycle, the fastest production motorcycle in the world. Now, that's going to open up a whole new can of worms and debates, etc. Are you thinking it's the Kawasaki H2? Are you thinking it's the R1, the ZX-10R, BMW RR? I'm going to tell you one thing. We're going back to 2006. There's a little bit of a story here. It's not too long one because it's a two minute video, right? So we're going to go back to 2006. Now, can you guess what this motorcycle was? It was made by a company called MTT, which stood for Marine Turbine Technologies. All right, you still can't get it. Have you ever heard of the motorcycle called the Y2K? 320 horsepower. But more importantly, it brought together two different technologies, motorcycle technology and aircraft technology. They took a Rolls-Royce turbine-powered jet engine and they put it into this Y2K production motorcycle with 320 horsepower that ran at 520,000 revs. Now, it was a turbo drive prop shaft that powered this bike and believe it or not, it actually had two speeds, a chain and sprockets. So, it was quite a conventional bike on the face of it other than the fact it had fast and super fast and the price tag that went along with this because this bike was extremely expensive. I actually don't know what the cost of this bike was. I'd have to do some more research, but it sounds like it's quite a lot. Now, then the next thing that was really, really, really impressive about this motorcycle was actually, I, this is what I remember about it because I remember watching shows and motorcycle magazines talking about it at the time, but actually placed itself in a movie called Torque. Torque was like a need for speed movie that was around cars or the Fast and Furious at the time. Um, when they first came out, it was like a bike equivalent, okay? So it was pretty different. And at the very end of that movie, if you haven't seen it, the bike is in there. Now, I'm gonna chuck in a video, a couple of pictures of what this bike looks like. And I know, I know, I know, right? This bike does look dated, okay? Even when it came out, it wasn't the most sexy looking bike, but it sounded amazing. If you check out the actual video footage that I've stuck in here of just the sound, very short clip, you'll hear just how amazing it is. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> yes. There it is. Now, you might be going there, well, what happened to this company? Well, believe it or not, this company is still going. So they just recently released, I say recently, a couple of years ago, back in 2015, brought out new, two new versions. One, which is a trike motorcycle, wait for it, powered by 420 horsepower jet turbine engine. And the great thing about it is it's incorporated with multiple technologies now. They're bringing it up to speed and up to date to make it safer for the road, to bring it in line with all the other motorcycle brands that are out there. Then number two, we've got this sports bike, which is the replacement for the Y2K, which is the 420RR, which stands for 420 brake horsepower, and it's the race model. Now there's four or five different colors, but on the website it actually says you can have any color you want. So it's a complete customization bike. If you look at the bike, how pretty it looks now, it's a long looking bike with a chrome exhaust, and it really does look futuristic. It's pretty awesome. They've really done an excellent job here. For all you guys that thought it was the Kawasaki H2, Yep, think again. So now that you know there's a bike out there that's a bit different, if you had all the money in the world, would that be something you'd buy? Let me know your thoughts, guys. For now, MC Procrastinator out.